The woman who lives in this house is fighting mad. Get the hell out of here! I want to see if we could talk to you. Hey, man. Man, can we talk with you for a minute? Graysville is trying to use the 1996 Drug Nuisance Abatement Act to evict the family that rents here on 8th Avenue Northeast. Mayor Doug Brewer says it's a first for the city. What I hope that we will accomplish by this is to uh, send a strong and clear message that we're not going to tolerate any kind of drug use in this town. Police Chief R.W. Carter wouldn't talk about the particulars of the case. Well, no, um, the lawyers advise against that. But in general, the chief says using this strategy protects people in the community. That's who I exist to serve, is the community as a whole. You know, not just any one particular individual. And, um, so, obviously, if we're using a law like that, you know, we feel like it's necessary. You know, otherwise we wouldn't do it. That's enough. Get that light out of my eyes, boy. And this is a bunch of bullshit. His brother-in-law tried to keep him from talking, but Chris Crump, the renter of the so-called drug house, caused the city's effort to evict his family a vendetta. Because uh, Chief Carter and I got a personal problem with each other about a wreck he investigated. Some people, including the police, say that you're running a drug house. How do you respond to that? Why ain't they over here busting us if we got a drug house? We, we walked up there and gave them an open invitation to come in this house anytime they want to. They didn't need a search warrant. Just come in the house anytime. It's all lies because Chief Carter don't like me. He wants me out of this town. He wants me out of this state if he get me. Crump says he's looking forward to his day in court. Truth's going to come out. It's going to come out. I want them to show me where we're selling drugs or we got, oh, this is a drug nuisance. Reporting in Graysville, Greg Privet, WB21 News.